Good morning. Welcome back to the Rock and Old channel. Before I start this video, I really want to thank everyone for all the support. The channel's been growing and it really means so much to me. Now, the reason I'm at Fort Lauderdale International Airport today is because I am headed to Seattle, where in Seattle, I am jumping on an NCL cruise to Alaska, a place I've always wanted to visit. So I am so pumped for it. Now, as many times I've cruised, which is a good bit, this is the first time I've ever not taken a cruise out of South Florida. So it's a little weird for me to get on an airplane to go on a cruise, but I'm fine with it. So they say the flight's on time, which I hope is the case. Take care, I'll talk to you later. Okay, just got the call, we're about to take off. See you in Seattle. Okay, on the ground now in Seattle. Can't complain about the flight at all. So I'm gonna wait for my luggage now, and then I'm gonna head to the hotel. Talk to you later. Okay, I'm in the Uber right now, headed to the hotel, just taking in the scenery of Seattle. Really looking forward to seeing a little bit of Seattle before I go on the cruise tomorrow. And yeah, I'm gonna get something to eat and walk around the city. Talk to you later. Okay, just pulling into downtown Seattle. Okay, struck out on the room being ready. 11.30, I was optimistic, but I wasn't too optimistic. So I'm gonna go walk over to Pike Place right now, famous in Seattle, grab some lunch, walk around there for a little bit. Hopefully the room's ready after that. So take care, I'll talk to you later. Okay, I'm not used to hills like this on a sidewalk, but I'm here for it. So that's Pike Place Market up there. I'm gonna go check it out. but. Very pretty view from there. Oh, I wonder if my ship is back there. Okay. Catcher. You gotta find some place to eat soon. But I am enjoying walking around this building. Everything this place has to offer. Fish. Go figure, Sam. Yeah. Hey, try that one too, buddy. You know kind of a busy day here, I'd say. Okay, range and Jordan out there. Okay, figured I'd do a little room tour. I'm at the Warwick in Seattle. I got this room on Hotwire because the rates were crazy around town. And Hotwire gave me a really good deal on this room as a blind pick. Uh, it's more than fine for the night. I'm just happy to have a warm room tonight. Uh, check out the bathroom and yeah, it'll get the job done. Yep, that is the Space Needle. I'm doing my best to go up there. I'm gonna go up that thing. Wish me luck, everyone. My fear of heights is uh, starting to kick in a little bit. 
but uh, it's really important for me to see this and show it to you guys as well. So I'll talk to you up really high in the sky of Seattle. Okay, just got a ticket to the Space Needle. About to go up this thing, and I'm okay. I'm not as freaked out as I thought I'd be. Wish me luck still. Okay, now about to go up the elevator. No, just kidding. I'm okay. Uh, it's something I, I really should see. I heard it gives you Seattle in, in such an incredible look. But I'm doing this for you guys as well. I'm doing it for you guys watching my YouTube channel because I appreciate all of you. See you up above. And this is the elevator that's about to take me up. I see it's number three. So Dwayne Wade elevator, take good care of me. Pretty impressive up here, I must say. Pretty impressive. Okay, I've fully walked around this thing, um, but I have to keep my distance a little bit with my fear of heights. But the view is incredible. I highly recommend coming here. Yes, that's glass right there, but I still have to be extra careful because me and heights are never going to be friends. Just when I thought I was done, I see a sign for the revolving floor, the ability to step on the glass. I just did a little bit right there. I don't know if I'm going to sit on like these people are. But this is cool. Okay, that's it for the Space Needle. It was cool. One time was enough, that's for sure. We'll go back to the hotel, relax for a little bit, probably grab a light supper, and that'll be it for the night. I'm not looking at you too much tonight, that's for sure. Talk to you later. Good morning. Well, it's about 8 a.m. Seattle time, and it's cruise day. I'm so pumped for it. So I'm just going to finish getting ready, then I'm going to head to the port of Seattle and begin this Alaskan adventure, which I am so pumped for. So take care. I'm on my way to the port of Seattle, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, all checked in, ready to go. Going to walk towards the ship, probably another waiting room area. And yeah, let's do this. Okay, I'm in the waiting room area, getting ready to board the ship, the NCL Encore that is, and I'm just so excited, I'm ready to do this. I've always wanted to see Alaska, so this is the last step before boarding the ship. Take care, talk to you later. Okay, just got the call, they're gonna start boarding now, so I'm super excited, ready to get on the ship. Talk to you on the ship. Okay, walking on the ship right now, and 
this is definitely like one of, if not my favorite parts of the cruise, the, the walk on the gangplank when you know this is really happening and you have no idea what you're in store for. Okay, this is the gangplank. And I just love this part. This is the part where the cruise is happening. Okay, here we are, walking on the gangplank. Let's do this. Last up, before boarding the ship, we're about, say, 30 feet away. Let's do this. Okay. For letter A, sir, you need to go to your assembly station on A. You got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, first thing on the cruise ship, and I have to do the uh, safety drill. So at least I get it over with quicker now, so you can get to the important things on the cruise. Okay, first stop on the cruise, and I'm going to grab a bite to eat here at the local. Starving, ready to get this started. Okay, it's always a tradition to have the champagne when you start a cruise, so cheers to this cruise and cheers to all of you. Space Needle where I visited yesterday. It's weird for me not seeing Miami or Fort Lauderdale on a cruise ship as we get set to leave. Okay, just sitting around hanging tight waiting for the cabins to open up. I got my Wi-Fi situated which for me is very important. So I'm just gonna relax, wait till the cabins open up and then I'm gonna go there for a little bit and uh, try to get settled in a little bit more and let this Alaskan cruise adventure begin. Talk to you later. Thought I'd do a quick cabin tour and it will be quick. I got a solo studio lounge because I wanted to try this out and to show people what it would be like if you go solo on an NCL cruise. And TV, plenty of storage space for a studio cabin. And instead of a window, obviously, you have a TV screen that gives you a live look of what the ship uh, camera is at the time. So the lights just went off there because I took my key out of the holder that you need to put it in to get the lights on. Uh, did not lose power. All right, talk to you guys later. Okay, just spent a little time in the cabin trying to get situated. And while I was waiting for my cabin, I noticed a lot of people were wearing their favorite college team's gear. And I could not be left out of that department. A lot of Michigan stuff here. I'm gonna have to go up to them and say, we should have played you in the what should have been Rose Bowl game. Talk to you later. Okay, thought I'd check out the buffet. Uh, I'm not going to eat right now, but I just want to take a look around and see what I got. Some burgers. Pizza station over here. Can't ever go wrong with that. Oh, a 
far, go figure, on a cruise ship. It's like a pasta area down to the left. Hot entrees. Everything smells delicious here. More hot entrees. Oh, of course, desserts. And I think there's more in the back. Let me take a look. Oh, that turned for the corn chowder. Might have to get a couple. Shake it up. Okay, we got a slide up there, and my guess is it probably will not be open this past cold weather, but you never know. I think before we head out, I'm just gonna take this all in while it's quiet up here before we set sail. It's just, I'm really just enjoying this moment, loving this cold weather, and just realizing I'm about to go to one of my bucket list items, get on the last Dean cruise. So, I'm just really enjoying the moment. If I'm rambling, I apologize, but this is just really starting to hit me right now a little bit, this cruise, how lucky I am to be here. And believe it or not, it's I'm in a hoodie, and there are people in the pool right now. So I guess different parts of the country affect the weather affects people differently. So uh, I'll talk to you later. But I just wanted to take a moment to just share with you how much this cruise means to me. Okay, we just started setting sail. So I know I keep saying the trip's starting to set in, but this one, you know, it's definitely happening. So uh, cold up here, but. I can breathe better here than when I'm in South Florida. So let's do this. People waving already. <laughs> okay, we just started setting sail. So, I know I keep saying the trip's starting to set in, but this one, you know, it's definitely happening. So, uh, cold up here, but oh, I can breathe better here than when I'm in South Florida. So, let's do this. People waving already. Entertainment throughout the cruise, but I can't. Okay, just leaving the sail away party and I gotta give credit to the cruise staff. They did a great job just pumping up the crowd and getting everyone fired up. I mean, it was cold outside. I liked the weather, but people were dancing like it was a Caribbean cruise in the hot Florida weather. So I give them credit. Good time. Just finished up having dinner at the buffet tonight and it was good. Had everything I wanted, comfort food, which I was looking for. So I'm just going to relax right now at the buffet and enjoy this amazing view I got behind me. I'm just really enjoying. I'm probably going to head to the casino for a little bit and try to go to a comedy show tonight. So uh, that's the plan for right now. So take care. I'll talk to you later. Okay, I'm going to explore some parts of the ship I haven't seen yet. And I think I'm going to go in here and see what this place is all about. So I thought I'd check out the district brew house. Sorry for the there. This place looks so cool. Walking in. 
and everybody. <laughs> Thank you. So, so you have a cool, really cool bar, so many different types of beers and other cocktails. If you want, you can sit on the side over there and get a great view. The ocean. Really cool here. <laughs> So I was just at Cavern for a little bit, and it was cool in there, but I, I walked out and walked over to the district, and I pretty much have the whole place to myself. I am trying a 66 beer, and Norwegian brews this beer themselves, so let's give it a try. Ooh, eight and a half out of ten. Delicious. It's good. Okay, I am coming to you now from the theater where there is two comedians performing tonight and I love a good comedian so I'm excited to just sit back, relax and get some laughs. Talk to you later. Okay, that's it for day one of my Norwegian cruise Alaskan adventure. Had a really good first day. I was really impressed with the amount of stuff Norwegian had going on today, even throughout the evening. There's more stuff going on now, but I'm, I'm just exhausted, so I'm going to call it a night. But kudos to Norwegian. Looking forward to see what tomorrow's day at sea has in store. So thank you for your support. Take care. Talk to you later.